Welcome to this tutorial video. Once again we'll be looking at some seasonal indices questions uh, focusing on the BCAA exams. So let's have a look at our first question. So we're looking at question 1011 from this exam paper. The data of which is shown in this table. So our table shows the month of the year and it gives us the seasonal indexes for 11 of the 12 months for the sales in a sporting equipment store. So first of all, question 10 says, the seasonal index for December, the unknown, which is shown in the grey box here, is, and it gives us some options. So how do we go about calculating the seasonal index for the unknown month? Well, because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 8, 12 periods, or rather 12 months in the year, we know the sum of all our seasonal indices must add up to 10. After all, these are comparing each month sales against an average sales for the year. So some months will be above, such as January of 1.23, up by 23%. Others will be below, such as July 0.86, down 14% on average for the year. So on average, however, it must add up to the same number of months in the year. It must add up to a total of 12. So we can take this to our TI Inspire, and you see here I've already added up all 11 values that we had, all the individual 11 seasonal indices, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we can keep clicking, that's 9, 10, and 11. Now when I add them together I get 10.71. So we go back, that suggests that all these individual 11 seasonal indices add up to a total of 10.71. Now we know the total at the end must add up to 12, so when I take away my 10.71 I have a missing value of 1.29. So if I go back here, our missing seasonal index for December is 1.29, which is option E. Question 11 says, in May, the store sold $213,956 worth of sporting equipment. We wish to know what is the deseasonalized value of these sales was closest to. So from that particular sales in May, what would that be when we de-seasonalize the data? So we look back at May, it has a seasonal index of 0.89. So our de-seasonalized values, we calculate by taking the actual value and dividing it by the seasonal index for that particular period or month. So the actual value sales was 213,956, and if we click back, we can see that in May, our seasonal index was 0.89. So when I divide that by 0.89, I get a deseasonalized value of $240,400. And again, we have an option here, E, $240,400. Note that it does say closest to, so sometimes if that was 240399 then this would still be closest to. Just read that carefully. Anyway, I hope that gives some example of how to calculate a simple unknown seasonal index and how to apply that seasonal index to calculate the deseasonalized values for a particular monthly sale. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.